heaven bless you. Have a very Merry Christmas and lucky, happy New Year. Yeah? Lucky every day. Happy every day. New Year. Please sit down. How's everyone? Okay? Very good, Master. Ah, oh, good. Are you happy, guys? Yes, yes Master. Master. Very happy. <laughs> what have you been doing? Uh, Master, here we've been doing many different projects, uh, loving the Silent Tears editing and post-event media coverage, CD and DVD distribution, editing Master's videos, as well as Master's poetry and songs DVDs. Among other things, we also plan on producing Supreme Master TV shows, such as the music and poetry programs, to further share Master's teachings and poems to more people. And thank you for the opportunity uh, to work on those items. Yeah, you're welcome, and thank you <laughs> for working on whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you like it, it's good. We all very much enjoyed the work, Master, and we were, were deeply... Uh, happy that uh, you allow us to um, work on it and very happy every day. Very, very happy, Master. Wonderful, my God. <laughs> it's the nicest thing I can hear. <laughs> I mean, because you wanted to do it, so why not? So I said, okay, no? What would I say? Not okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, if you like to work there and it's good for humankind or good, good for the world, then I always say, okay, I'm easy, easy going. <laughs> We're deeply appreciative, Master. Yeah, I appreciate you too. So that's why I let you have a chance to air your opinion today or air your concern, or, you know, ask some question if you want. You have any? Yes, we'd very much, very much like to. To our greatest honor. Oh, okay, Mike. Most compassionate master, um, as people around the world are celebrating this holiday season with their loved ones, uh, we feel deeply honored, happy, and so blessed to be in your most radiant presence today. Um, thank you so much for granting us your precious time from your deep meditation to answer our questions. Um, we, feel, we all feel that master's love and wisdom will surely be a priceless help to humans at this time. Thank you very much, master. Oh, it's all right. I, uh, it's New Year, it's Christmas and New Year, so I thought uh, maybe you guys want to have a look at me. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> As a gift. <laughs> wow. It looks good over there in your area with the Christmas trees and presents and everything. Just look very real Christmas. <laughs> we decorated um, the space uh, for you, Master, and to celebrate Christmas, and we're, uh, we're all very joyful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do enjoy the holiday season, yes. I'm very glad to see you also, those that uh, still like to stay there and work in whatever project that you are having and trying to help the world in different way. Thank you, Master. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Is there any question? Then you go ahead. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I will. I will start with the first few questions, Master. Master, uh, okay. there, there's much news about climate change, uh, with the United Nations recently concluding in a report that ice cover has reached a new record low in the area around the North Pole, and that the loss from March to September of this year was an area bigger than the size of the United States, a very large area. Yeah. Yeah. So, Master, it looks like climate change is part of the screening process as uh, people are dying from ex extreme weather events and other events caused by climate change. And so our mm. question, Master, is, is the world still in danger from climate change to some extent if the pace of adopting the vegan diet is not sped up? Thank you, Master. Mm. 
Yes, um, you're right. Uh, the uh, the ship, the ship, you know, big ship, has been able to sail through the. There used to be ice cover before. Yes. Before, uh, no ship ever had been able to go through that area, and now the whole area is just water, no ice. So they just sail through, they just go through. It's, it's uh, very worrisome. But, uh, well, the planet is saved, but the people still have to live up to humans' real standard in order to preserve a human's world according to heaven's mandate. If we don't, then uh, we will have to bear the consequences, or our future children will have to. That's, you know, as we sow, so shall we reap. Understood, Master. <sighs> Sorry about that. Understood. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of the total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming, uses four and a half times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing, a solution for world hunger, free up 3.4 billion hectares of land, free up 760 million tons of grain every year, half the world's grain supply, consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production, reduces pollution from untreated animal waste, maintains cleaner air, saves four and a half tons of emissions per U.S. household per year, stop 80% of global warming, plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash be veg. Master, how long can the planet live now? Guess. <laughs> <laughs> can you guess? Uh, Master, I, I was thinking about it before this conference, and um, I thought maybe it's doubled, maybe 20,000 years, and perhaps more, if, depending on future human conduct. Well, I didn't want to spoil them, but uh, the planet will exist millions of years more. Now. Wow. That's exciting news, Master. Yes. Thank you, Master. Thank You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks, Heaven, and thanks, God, for all this merciful decree. Even though I put in effort, but the people has been praying as well. Other beings on this planet, not just humans, have been praying and putting in effort small or, or big, and heaven has been merciful as well, hmm? okay? Yes, Master. I was stamping my feet. <laughs> I was stamping my feet <laughs> and demand that our voices be heard and our opinions matter. I said, even I, myself, just one person's opinions matters. <laughs> and it matters, yes? So the planets will continue. Of course, with a lot of uh, effort, eh? Yes. Well, I don't want to mention it. It's a long story. <laughs> now, now the planet is safe and it's good enough. Yeah? Okay? Thank you for being our lawyer and in, in your grace and blessings, Master, for acting on our behalf. Well, I am... I'm you. <laughs> <laughs> I am us. <laughs> What happened to you concerns me, right? Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master. We are friends. <laughs> and friends has to defend friends. Yes? Yeah. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. 
Uh, Master, has the screening process been completed or will it continue? And if so, uh, for how much longer may we know? Yeah, the screening process will always continue until at least humankind have changed to a better standard, you know, to the real human standard, you know, with love, compassion, and peacefulness coexisting together. But uh, right now, the, the, the screening process still continues, although it's a little different degree uh, of intensity. But because humans always waver, so the result also changes. Sometimes slow, sometimes suddenly. I would really like to say, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> but the truth is, we have to make effort to earn happiness on earth as in heaven. Understood, Master. Yeah. I hope everybody understands what you understood. <laughs> the problem is not everyone understands. And so um, we still have to continue with our effort, and the screening might still continue in some, in some way, yeah? Thank you very much for your answer, Master. Okay, Mike. Hi, Master. It's nice to see you again. Hi. Good to see you. Olivia, ça va toi? <laughs> ça va, ça va, merci. You look beautiful, Master, as always. Merci, merci. Um, I have my first question is about the Middle East. Um, Palestine has uh, recently been recognized as a state by the United Nations, but it seems to have hardened the situation between Palestine and Israel. Master, mm -hmm. what can we do to find a lasting peace in the Middle East? Mm. Yeah, things will have to sort themselves out, yes. The people themselves have to consider what they want, and in order to have what they want, they have to consider what kind of action that they should take. The levels of consciousness of the people in different countries manifest in their ways of living, their mentality, their dealing with the world. So unless our levels uplifted, things will remain difficult for any of us in any situation not just the Middle East. Master, please, tell us the level of consciousness of the people of different countries. We would really like to know. Um, I have recently uh, been checking out what kind of levels different countries have. You know, the majority of the people of each uh, different countries. Uh, maybe if we have time later on, I will let you know, and then maybe you understand why we have difficult to find peace in some area, okay? Oh, thank you, Master. And the list that I'm going to give you about the spiritual consciousness of the majority population of each nation is just for your reference and within our group, not to be published. Yes, Master. Master, thanks to your intensive meditation and upliftment of our world. The planet is, as you said, saved for millions of years more. That's really a great news. Thank you very much, Master. But the, the planet countdown that we aired during Supreme Master Television is scheduled to end next month in January. So, Master, with the planet now saved, does the countdown have any more meaning? No, no. Okay. No, we don't need countdown anymore. Countdown at that time was uh, done according to the situation of the karmic uh, consequences of uh, our world at that time. But it, it has now changed. It has become better, thanks to all heaven's grace and all beings, uh, prayers and effort and meditation and doing good, etc., etc. Small effort and big efforts, they do help. Yes? Yes. Thank you very much, Master. Um, You're welcome. Uh, Master, earlier this year you explained about um, heaven and your role as a lawyer who is uh, negotiating on behalf of humans who are suffering in this world. Um, Master, could you please share about how the negotiations are going? 
Uh, you, you know it already. Well, the planet is saved. <laughs> okay, that's great. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Now, uh, we humans are pardoned to some extent, to some degree, but we must prove worthy of this world, yes? It's up to the people now to choose either the noble way of living or the lesser standard of humans for present life and the hereafter. We have to live according to true human standard. You see, the minimum is laid out in all kind of scriptures in the world, like the five precepts, the Ten Commandments, like thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit a sinful act, etc., commit adultery, thou shalt not do this, thou shalt not do that, but thou shalt do this, thou shalt do that. This is a minimum standard. Yeah, thou shalt not kill. But if we continue going to kill each others or killing other beings, like the animals, for example, then we are not living up to the human standard. Not to talk about heaven standard yet. To be able to be a true human, we should follow the five precepts or the Ten Commandments in the Bible. So you understand, yes? <laughs> yes, Master. Vegetarianism in religion. The Baha'i Faith, regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that, in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings on some aspects of health and healing. Buddhism, all meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives, Lankavatara Sutra. Also, after the birth of the baby, care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat. Because at the difficult time of birth, there are innumerable evil demons, monsters, and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption, they bring down curses upon themselves, which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby. Siti Garba Sutra. Be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying or creating evil karma by worshiping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities, because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, making it even deeper and more serious, thus delay his rebirth to a good state. Karma means retribution. Ksiti Garba Sutra. Cow die. The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints. Christianity. Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible. Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood. If ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adi Lila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu. Islam. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith.
Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith. Jainism. A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been especially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Kritanga. Judaism. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible. Blood meaning flesh. Sikhism. Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism. Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the Quiet Way. Tibetan Buddhism. The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism. Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow, Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great, compassionate, loving self-nature, and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. But Master, how come some people commit bad deeds such as killing or eating flesh, drinking alcohol, etc. yet still nothing happens to them? Not yet. Nothing happened to them yet? For the moment, maybe. But it could happen sooner or even next life. Because at this present life, or at this present moment, they still have some leftover good merit in store from their past lives, good deeds. But when this uh, merit store is used up, then they will have to pay in different ways. Either bad health, accidents, mental disturbance, or loss of lives, etc. No one can escape the karmic retribution in the universal law. Understood. Thank you very much. All right. You're welcome, love. Prohibition on alcohol. The Baha'i Faith. Beware lest ye exchange the wine of God for your own wine, for it will stupefy your minds and turn your faces away from the countenance of God. The Katabi Akdas. God hath prohibited unto man the drinking of wine. A Traveler's Narrative. Buddhism. Alcohol is the root of immorality and evils. Mahaparinirvana Sutra. A disciple of the Buddha should not intentionally consume alcoholic beverages, as they are the source of countless offenses. If he but offers a glass of wine to another person, his retribution will be to have no hands for 500 lifetimes. Brahmajala Sutra. Gaudai. Many people have half their body die as a result of wine. Once we lose our human status, we can't expect to rise to the ranks of the sages, saints, and Buddha. Also, when our mind is uncontrollable, we leave our door open for negative spirits to enter, thus leading us to do many sinful things and causing us to be bound forever by the cycle of reincarnation. Therefore, I forbid you to drink wine. Divine Messages Christianity and Judaism Be not among wine bibbers among riotous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Proverbs, Holy Bible. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortionists shall inherit the kingdom of God. Corinthians, Holy Bible. The Doctrine and Covenants. Hinduism, for liquor is the defiling dirt excreted from rice, and dirt is said to be evil. Therefore, a priest, ruler, or commoner should not drink liquor. Manu Shmurti, a Brahmana knower of God, 
who drinks the spirituous liquor called Sura shall enter the bodies of small and large insects, of moths, of birds feeding on ordor, and of destructive beasts. Brahmana means knower of God, Manu Shmurti. Islam, they ask thee concerning wine and gambling, say, in them is great sin, the holy Quran. Jainism, alcohol stupefies the mind, one whose mind is stupefied forgets piety, and the person who forgets piety commits violence without hesitation. Puru Shurta Sidi Upaya Sikhism One man offers wine and another pours it himself. It makes him crazy and senseless and devoid of all reason. Then one cannot distinguish between one's own and another's and is cursed by God. Drinking it, one forsakes one's master and is punished at the Lord's court. Yes, Drink not this vicious wine under any circumstances. Sri Guru Granth Sahib. The demented fool drinks in the deadly poison while he believes the ambrosial nam, or essence of God, to be bitter. He does not even approach the Saad Sangat, the company of the holy. He wanders lost through 8.4 million incarnations. Sri Guru Granth Sahib. The poison of this world, through namely meat, alcohol, cigarette, drugs, intoxicants, etc., etc., have cast an iron chain on their mental, physical, emotional strength. So, if we want to detox ourselves, we have to refrain from further poisoning our body and mind by eating meat, taking alcohol, or cigarette, drugs, any kind of poisonous intoxicant that is, is not natural to our divine body. Then we can think better, we become ourselves, we regain our own wisdom and our own selves, like the primordial being before we come to this world. Hi, Master. Yeah. Hi. Hi. This is Sarah, Master. Ah, Sarah, how are you? Good, Master. Thank <laughs> you. You look so pretty. Oh, well, for you, Master, we, we tried. Lost some weight or something? Oh, <laughs> I'm just very happy here, Master. Yeah? Maybe that's why and we just tried to look good for you <laughs> today. Oh, yeah. You do look good. You really look good. I mean, from inside as well. Thank you, Master. Thank you for your blessings. Master, I have a question about Nostradamus' prophecies. Many people believe that he predicted um, the wars and tragedies that happened throughout human history. And in one letter he wrote to his son, he said that there will be a worldwide conflagration or fire, um, which is to bring so many catastrophes and such revolutions that hardly any lands will not be covered by water. And this will mm -hmm. last until all have perished. The rains, oh. yes, and he said yes. that the rains will be diminished so much and such abundance of fire and fiery missiles shall fall yes. from the heavens that nothing shall escape the Holocaust. And this yes. will occur before the last conflagration. Um, oh. It, yes, very scary, Master. Um, and it sounds similar, but even worse than actual events we've seen so far. Um, so, Master, are such disastrous prophecies for our world, like this one, supposed to come true if it's not for heaven's grace? Uh, it could have come true, but uh, we have tried to stop it. Oh, yes, Master. We have tried to stop it, so it's uh, better now. It could have become worse, yeah? Yes, Master. You see? Yes. That's why you said the, the prediction sounds worse than uh, the actual events. Yes, Master. You no, know, he yes. predicted the truth, but then, but then we, uh, some of our humans have been very good, and so they, they uh, all together we have stopped some of the worst disaster that could have happened to our planet and the humankind. But nevertheless, recently in the SM magazine, our magazine, they have printed uh, the article of uh, Nostradamus' prediction, another kind of prediction, and you will find a better picture of our world after the big screening. 
You didn't read it? We, we read it, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, it said that um, there will be um, a, at least a thousand years of complete peace and prosperity thanks to the emergence of a new world leader or messiah. Mm. And it's good. Yes, Master, it's, it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a good news, huh? Yeah. Yes. In a few years, maybe everyone become vegan. <laughs> and they're tired of fighting, maybe have peace in the world. Yes, Master. Okay. Thank you, Master, for your blessing. <laughs> wow. Just say we hope so, huh? Yeah, and pray for it. Yes, Master, we'll pray yes. for it. Master, we'd like to know um, how have you been spending your days before today? Um, what have you been doing? Mm. Uh, I've been uh, checking the universe. <laughs> I'm checking wow. what's going on in the world and uh, what we can uh, minimize, what we can improve. And uh, of course, always in the intensive meditation mood. Whether I sit down or I lay down or I'm taking some time to, to walk around or playing with the dogs, <laughs> always uh, focus on meditation. Wow. Um, intensive meditational mood, yes. And also I have sent uh, assistants. I have only one or two assistants here. Sometimes one, sometimes two. Depends on their karma. And uh, sometimes I send assistant out to help, you know, the needy people and to give the homeless some financial support, buy food for the food bank uh, where I live. Yes, also send Christmas present to some people. <laughs> I had to buy many new houses for the dog pounds near where I live, and uh, food and blankets and toys, uh, mattresses and whatever they required from the dog pound center. I did that many years, you know, over the years, not just this year, but mostly anonymous, so they don't even know me. <laughs> they don't even see me. <laughs> they always want to see me. I went before two times when I wasn't famous there, but after I've been given so many more times, <laughs> I escape. <laughs> I just write like a, a pen name or something. And I just wrote thank you letter. I say that's okay enough, and my my assistant <laughs> carry it over or not. <laughs> and sometimes I read it, and sometimes I just keep it. It doesn't matter, as long as the dogs are happy. They seem to be good taken care of there, and I hope all the dogs in all the pals and tenters in the world are well taken care of. Oh, master, that's so touching. And the children, you know, the 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 orphan, the orphanage children. I send them present and money to buy them new clothes and whatever they need, toys and chocolates and, you know, vegan chocolates <laughs> and cookies, <laughs> uh, marzipan with figures that they, they, the children would like, things like that, etc. Huh? Okay? I also order those uh, disaster relief funds and activity and also special fund of uh, 400000 for the homeless monks wow. and uh, homeless people around the world. And I, I also do some important correspondence, not a lot, because of course I have to concentrate on meditation. Eh? Mm. I wish I could write letters to all the leaders and great people in the world to thank them for all the efforts and all the good things they have done for humankind and for the planet and for the animals. But uh, I just couldn't make it. There are still a lot of good people in these worlds and good leaders, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Anyway, uh, by the way, here, if they can hear me at all, I hope they will accept my heartfelt gratitude. And I wish them all the best in their continuing noble work. And I pray heavens for all the blessing showering into their lives and their loved ones. But thank you so much. Master, you're mm. so compassionate. Not only you're taking care of the universe through your meditation, you're, you're also uh, being Santa Claus to so many of the less fortunate, and it touches us every yeah. year. Yeah, quietly, <laughs> quietly. 
They don't even know I'm Santa Claus. I just send it through someone else. Yes, or anonymously. Yeah, so they don't even see the Santa Claus. Mrs. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Mysterious Santa Claus. <laughs> Actually, you know, because you are doing these things, every one of our association member doing this, and I'm also doing this. You know, we walk the talk. It's normal by us. Huh? We're only inspired <laughs> by your example, Master, truly. And whoever receives your gift is so blessed. <laughs> What if I keep telling you what to do and I never do anything? Huh? It's not good, is it? <laughs> it's not because I tell you what to do, so I do it. I just feel their need, so I do it because of their need. Nah, it's just natural things to do. Hmm? Just like it's natural thing for you to like to stay there and continue to do whatever you can, uh, spreading the teaching or do whatever video stuff that you're doing. For other people, it just feel natural to you, hmm? and you're happy doing that. The same, it feel natural to me to help people, and I'm happy doing that too. <laughs> yes, Master. I have another question. Okay. Um, so there are these other predictions, positive predictions, about the year 2013. They say that our world will be suddenly transformed or enter a higher dimension. Um, yes. And that even our DNA will change or already started to change. Um, mm -hmm. And it sounds great, but um, for me, it, it's hard to imagine that drastic changes could happen overnight, especially... Why not? Well, in our <laughs> physical domain, it, it's kind of hard understand. to imagine for the physical world. Yeah, I understand. Um, could Master please share your insights? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why do you always believe in negative happenings and not believe in... For example, sudden miracles or sudden change for the better. Yeah, let's just believe it. Let's pray for it to happen and as quick as possible. I have given up zillions of zillions of zillions of zillions of spiritual merit points for the world to become better and the people to change from inside and for world vegan, world peace. Still more. I need to offer for this vision to come true. But it will, it might come true. I have been intensifying my meditation effort. Wow. Still continue. Wow, Master, thank you so much. But, uh, yes, I cannot always reveal all to you. You just wait and see, okay? Yes, Master, yes. thank you so much. Thanks, Heaven. <laughs> Thanks, Heaven. Okay. Um, well, so thanks to Master's dedication, the planet has been saved for a much, much longer time. And it also depends, as you have said, on humanity's um, standard and future actions. Um, so do these future actions also um, include what our association members do, such as continuing to spread the vegan message? Yes, of course. Everyone has to do their best, eh? especially our association members who knows what's right, what's wrong, and what's best for the world. So the more, the better, yeah? But the planet will live longer now. I told you, millions of years. Wow! <laughs> yes, how many millions more, Master? Yeah, I'm checking my diary, because I also don't remember every day something more and more. I have to do a lot of things I don't always remember, but I have written down. I don't write down every day, I just write down now and then just to check up on the extension of the planet. Okay, uh, on the, uh, what is the date of that? Hmm, man, let me check out the date, okay? So man, <laughs> I write in so much, I could hardly oh, check wow. out. Because my, my diary is very small, <laughs> so I can carry in my pocket. I just write things very simple for myself. But now if you ask, I tell you, um, I could check it out, but be patient a little bit. Yes, Master. Yes. Where can that be, the date? Oh, man. Okay. On the, you know, up the latest one, planet, planet extension. 
the latest one I have written is for fifth. Gosh. Could it be more behind here or not? If not, then it's uh, in the front. My level planner extended. Ah, okay. We have later than that day. That day was before. The latest time I, I checked was 18 December. The planet would be extended to stay longer. A million three hundred thirty-one thousand one hundred seventy-one years wow. on eight, up to 18 December. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, Master. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow, it's go very fast now. Wow. I am surprised myself. <laughs> Master, it was just 10,000 years at the end of October, so just in two months. I know. Wow. I know. I know. Because uh, my level is jumping up. Wow. Oh my goodness, Master. <laughs> my spiritual merit points uh, multiply zillions of times because of um, special events and some special things that I cannot share with you. But uh, because of that, the Master power is more strong, stronger and stronger, and so strong that even <laughs> it jump, it jump up so fast that I'm so happy too. Yes, doesn't matter as long as it lives longer. Doesn't matter how. <laughs> it's very That's good. Yeah, it's good news, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yes, Master. <laughs> We're so lucky, Master. We're so lucky. Ah, yeah, we are lucky. See, the planet will live so much longer now, and will continue longer, yeah, more than that. It's, that was just the 18th of December, yeah? It will continue much more. But uh, the planets continue to live now. It's the human race that should be concerned how long we can continue on for the now and the next generations. If we continue to be more destructive to ourselves, then that's, that's what we want, and then that's what we will get, huh? Okay, so the planet is saved for the human to live on and other beings to live on, then we must really treasure it and we must think about how to live a worthy life on this planet, how to really um, determine to make the better days of our life, how to return the kindness of heaven not just always asking heaven what to do for us, but asking ourselves what we could do for the world, for others, and for ourselves. That is the right thing to do. Okay? Yes, Master. All right. Yes. Um, Continue. Yes, Master. Um, so with this news that the planet has been saved for a longer time, um, for some people it doesn't feel as critical to um, keep spreading the vegan message to save the world since, Master, mm -hmm. you've done all the work. Um, He's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Master, we were wondering, well, sometimes here at Supreme Master TV, we're approached with questions like, well, Supreme Master TV is over, so why are you still working? And instead of doing deep meditation, as Master has um, told us to do, um, so I'm not sure how to answer this kind of question. Master, what is the proper balance between work and meditating at this current time? Well, I have told you to meditate if you can, as deep as possible, yeah? Hmm. Yes, Master. But now, because you have to or you want to do this work, also to offer your service to the world, and then you do what you have to do and you meditate as deep as much as you can. You do both, no? It's up to you. you know, spreading veganism and meditation are also good for your upliftment, personally, as well as for the world. And never mind, just tell them, mind their own business. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> then they will live longer. <laughs> okay. Yes, Master. There's a woman, recently she died at the age of 116. And people ask her, what's the secret? of her longevity. She said, I mind my own business, and I don't eat junk food. <laughs> See? <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> yes. Good advice. <laughs> 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 so, 
So tell them to mind their own business, okay? <laughs> yes, mind <Master>. your own <laughs> business. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, I, I guess for me, I, I have been meditating more than during Supreme Master TV years. Um, but yes. I don't think I could be meditating all day, like 10 hour days for many days mm. on end. <laughs> Yes, well, this different, different. Some people has different uh, things to do. Yes, okay. Okay, mm. master. Some people want to meditate all day, all night, and that's okay too. And some people would like to do like fifty-fifty. Yeah, do some work for the world and meditate as well. Then, then it's just your choice. Yes. Yes, master. I I think me and a lot of us here, or all of us here, we. We like to work also um, to be of service, and so we can try to learn and grow spiritually a little faster. But if you are staying in the old Supreme Master television and keep working there for any reason, then you need to meditate at least four hours a day. Yes, one hour on the south at least. And if someone who doesn't work, then have to meditate eight hours a day. Yes. Proportionately light and south, like the way I have told you at initiation. Because people outside, they work at least eight hours a day. So if we don't work, we have to meditate eight hours a day at least. Okay? And if you're doing anything that contribute to the world or to master work, for example, you have to meditate four hours a day, not two and a half like other people. And at least one hour Guan Yin is very important for you. Okay? All of you. Not just those as Supreme Master Television. Remember, whatever you do is your choice. I, I only advise okay. people do what they want. Hmm? Okay, thank you, Master. But of course, the um, the critical time is uh, less intensive now. Hmm? So some people would think that there's no need to do much more. But there's a need always to do. The war is not perfect yet. People are still killing each other and killing animals to eat, which is wrong. So how can we say that uh, we don't do it? It's not because I dropped the Supreme Master television program. That means I'm not doing anything. I'm doing different things. Yes, Master. Yes, because I saw that just talking alone has not been enough. So I have to do more intensified meditation retreat, which I'm very glad that I have done. Otherwise, I couldn't have achieved what I wanted to, and I couldn't have discovered, I mean, have time to rediscover things that I want to uh, discover. Uh, good, good for the world. Better I meditate than when I'm doing Supreme Master Television with you. There are two types of things to do. The things to, uh, like, uh, informing the world about um, theory stuff and about kind of verbal, verbal action. And other is spiritual action, spiritual power to reinforce what you have verbally told people. And also to help lifting many souls and lifting even the whole planet. If just talking on TV, I could not have done that. Truly, I could not. You understand? Yes, Master. Yes. So living Supreme Master Television doesn't mean I'm running away or not doing anything. I'm doing better works. <laughs> yes, Master. Thank you so much. I'm Master. very glad because if I have continued with Supreme Master Television, theoretically speaking, I'm doing well for the world and helping them and all that, but not as good as uh, when I'm more in oneness with the universe deeply. Understand? Hmm? Yes, Master. More spiritually upward, advanced. Okay? <laughs> yes, Master. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Any more? Hi, Master. Hi. Master, on behalf of all of us and from the bottom of our hearts, we deeply, deeply thank you for everything that you've done. You've provided everything for us. Everything the blessings, the teachings, and the love. You've taken care of every aspect of our lives. And there aren't any words that can describe how much you've done for us and how much we feel so privileged and so graced by your presence of such a person who's so beautiful as you. I'm so thankful for you. Master, during Loving the Silent Tears, 
there was a time when you wrote the letter addressing the USA that such a great country such as the USA would take notice in such a humble nobody such as yourself. But you're nothing like that. You are somebody and you are somebody to everybody, to millions of beings around the world. And for that, we're very, very grateful. I'm so thankful, Master. Thank you. Yes, but uh, <laughs> you're welcome. But when I wrote it, I really meant it. I, when I said that, I really meant it because I know um, even though maybe you think I'm great or maybe spiritually, yes, but uh, in the world, nobody cares about who I am. So uh, for uh, worldly speaking, the, the American people are very great to have a notice such a nobody like myself. I have no position in the world. I have no political platform. <laughs> I have no, no title, nothing. <laughs> so when I said that, I really meant that. Huh? Yes, Master. And I really am grateful to the American people and governments for being such a good leadership. Hmm? Yes. yes, they Master. really are very genuine in many ways. And that I recognize in American spirit. And so I thank them for that. <laughs> you know, the uh, Americans, the government, they gave me all this uh, honorary citizenship when I was even less than nobody. Now I'm nobody, but before I was even less than nobody. We didn't have even Supreme Master Television or anything of the like. And we did everything quietly and ourselves, mind our own stuff. But the Americans still noticed and sought me out and gave me all this honor and privilege. That's the touching part that I never forget, you see? Thank you, Master. For us, you are something, and you to us are the greatest mother ever, and the greatest mother in the entire universe for taking care of Thank everything. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. That was very touching, Chef. I don't make me cry, ruin my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm about to cry, Master. <laughs> yeah, I can hear your emotional voice. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Also, Master, it breaks our heart hearing of all the sacrifices you've made, like the long hours traveled and the karma taken, even at the cost of your own health and livelihood. We sincerely wish that cycle can end. Master, would there ever be a time at all where you no longer have to bear the weight of all our karma while you're here on this earth with us? Mm, you wish. <laughs> no such luck. It's my job. <laughs> as long as I'm here, the job has to continue in different ways, yeah? Yeah, understand, Master. As long as there is suffering, as long as no lasting peace, the Master still have to carry on burden of karma. And uh, all Masters always do it willingly and lovingly. So there's nothing to it. <laughs> Understand, Master. Do the efforts of the disciples to spread the vegan message help speed the process where you will no longer need to bear all of our karma? Yeah, it helps a little bit. <laughs> But thank you, thank you for your love and your concern. Nevertheless, just do good things. Do it for the world and for yourself anyway. Of course, you know, whatever you do good, whatever compassionate deed you do, is always good for you and for the world. And regardless of me and my karma, burden of karma. So we don't have to worry about it. Just do because it's a good thing to do. Hmm? Whether you do it because you love me, or whether you do it because you love the world, or whether you do it because you think it's a good thing to do. It's always good. Good things always good. <laughs> thank you, anyway. Thank you, all of you, for loving me so much. Thank you, Master. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have some such disciples like you are, like the association member with NLA. Because I heard that uh, people who are in contact with you, who are in contact with you through 
uh, musical or through any other endeavors, they always regard you, my so-called disciples, very highly. And sometimes they wrote to me saying so, that they have never uh, seen or been in contact with such beautiful and loving, caring people like, like the people in our group. And I'm very, very touched and very proud of all of you. All of you, not just you in the Supreme Master Television or ex-Supreme Master Television Quarter, but all the disciples who represent heaven in their action, in their speech, and in, in their thinking. I'm very, very proud of you. I'm very happy that my effort is bearing some fruits. And I thank you, by the way. Okay? <laughs> thank you, Master. People always say, uh, by, by the fruits, yeah? shall the tree be known, right? Yes, Master. <laughs> so I'm glad. I'm glad that you honor me by your actions, by your love, by your true, genuine, caring spirit. That's what the practitioner is all about. It's not just about ourselves, that we should go to heaven, but we bring heaven to wherever we live or wherever we go. That's the best thing to do. I'm very happy that you're doing that, that people can see that, that people can feel that. That is the result of your practice of loving and kindness in meditation. And I'm really happy to see the result in you through the lens, critical lens of uh, other non-practitioners, uh, non-member. -non Okay? I'm yes, very Master. happy. Thank you, Master. <laughs> Master, I have some further questions. Please. Is Master's intensive meditation not only to uplift Earth, but also the universe? Ah, yes, yes, also the universe. But because uh, I'm in this world, this world is in priority since I'm here. Okay? <laughs> Will the entire universe also enter the Golden Age, or is that for our planet only? A big part of the universe, not the entire universe, sadly, because some parts of the universe are still too low, too dense, even after upliftment. It's like if you are at the bottom of the staircase, it takes a little longer to take you up to the top of the staircase. But some people are already at the middle of the staircase or on the, near the top of the staircase. It's just very easy to take them up. Okay? Yes, Master. Right. Is an all-vegan universe possible? Yes, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Everything <Yeah>. possible. <laughs> Take some time. It's a chain effect, you see? Yes, yes, Master. When our world is good, many other worlds are good. It's a chain effect. When you are good, people around you see that you're good, and they are affected by it, and they became also good. That's how it works. Yeah? Yes, Master. So first we take care of ourselves, then uh, the world will become good, and the universe will become better. Thank you, Master. Welcome, Jeff. Any more questions, Jeff? No, that's it for now, Master. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Master. It's Tao. Tao? Oh, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you, Master. Uh, Master, I have a few questions. Yeah? Earlier this year, you said that your level has risen so high and that as you go through each and every dimension, you will be more available. Could Master please explain a little more about what being more available means? What is the difference between this and being omnipresent? Okay. Like available here now, instead of being in heaven and connect only spiritually, uh, it makes easy for me to help when the master power is available in some form, in different dimension. It's just like a king who has an office everywhere, personally, instead of working through representatives. You see what I mean? Yes, yes Master. So even if the master 
doesn't reincarnate again on the planet or in any of other planet, physically or astrally, the Masters still truly are there to help. You understand? Yes, Master. It's like the, if the Master has to reincarnate on a physical planet in order to help the physical world. But like that, she might not have to, okay? Can also help because she will stay there, imprint on the atmosphere of the planet. Wow. Wow. And then like a, like a string effect, you know, like she will be always a da 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 from one level to another, all the time connected, instead of like a, an omnipresent God or an omnipresent Master just residing in one area, very high above physical plane, and just uh, have a power uh, to bless generally, but not uh, individually, not almost like physically. It's difficult to explain. I thought it was very clear when I said that <laughs> at the retreat. <laughs> Maybe you have a look at that uh, video again. Maybe you will see it more clear, huh? Yes, Master. Um, Master, for us here, we strive mostly through your grace to return to the fifth level, which is our home. We understood that the ninth level was your home, but we know that you are able to go much, much higher than we could ever imagine to the 1,000 plus level. Master, um, is it possible for you to share what level you are at now, please? Mm, man, I look at my diary again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Master. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> but what interests you about my level anyway? Those are mesmerizing information, Master. We love to know. Okay, look here. Yeah, this is the last one. Four and fifth, I maybe have even higher than that or not. Sometimes I don't write it down, okay? Okay, here. <laughs> it was, I only write it now and then, huh? I, sometimes I write it daily, sometimes not, because so much other information more important. So I didn't write since 18 of December. Okay, at the 18 of December, my level above the fifth level is eight trillion one hundred thirty one oh, wow. billion one hundred thirty four million one hundred thirty three thousand two hundred thirty third level. Wow. <laughs> yes, that's what it was. Are you the first to be able to achieve that level while in a physical body? Yeah, in the whole spiritual history. Wow. I'm just lucky, just so blessed, I guess. But the thing is, maybe we just need it now, you see? We just need it now for the planet, for the world. I see. Um, and while uplifting the universe, are you in the process of returning to your home as well? And could you share with us what level is your home? Mm, I have no home anymore. <laughs> no, no need for home. I have home everywhere now. Wow. As I told you before, I'm available everywhere. That's better than just come and go. Too much trouble. <laughs> Yes, Master. It's make like a string of highway and then just zip, 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 zip. <laughs> because the process of reincarnation, as I have told you maybe some times ago in Hungarian retreat, is complicated and tiring. Hmm? Yes, Master. Um, yes. Master, what goes on in those higher levels above the ninth? Are they there to give opportunities for beings to advance spiritually? Or are they there just to carry out functions of the universe? Ah, above certain levels, like above the 10 level, there's no more beings individually or no hierarchy of any bigger god, small god, or anything like that anymore. It's just the purest of light, purest of love, purest of power, Love limitless, 
That's all there is. Wow. No resident, no beings. Just pure light, pure love, pure power. And because of that, uh, any master who ascended to those dimensions could be able to assimilate this power in order to have such a powerful use of it. Otherwise, it's, it's helpless if we are just at the fifth or even the ninth level. So such a, just such a troublesome world like this, even ninth level is not good enough. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you, Master. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is amazing. Okay, Tao, thank you. Good question you had. Uh, Master, um, I have some more questions. Uh, Master, yes, Mike. Uh, we know, and we've touched on this, but Master, we know from the Hungary retreat that you were going to return to your home and that uh, we would not see you again within the five realms. Um, so if you are more available now, uh, it, does that mean we can see you within the five worlds when we depart this earth? Yes, yes, that is what it means. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, uh, more than five words, huh? Yes, okay? Master. It's just like a string of, of connection. Yes, it's better like that. So the Master can always come and go whenever the Master wants to come and wants to go. So no need to reincarnate. You understand? Yes, Master. Yes. And uh, also the Master is normally omnipresent. But if the Master is present virtually, individually, in each and different spiritual dimension, then it's easier to work that way. Easier for the Master, easier for the beings to, to see, to pray to, to learn with. Okay? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And also, if another Master is supposed to reincarnate on this planet, or any reincarnation, then the Master just, just use that Master to help. The present Master doesn't have to be reincarnated, her or himself. Uh, is that clear to you? Understood, Master. Yes. Mm, okay. Yes. My next question is, when astral beings, yeah. um, uh, when they use up their merits, their level drops down. And we know that as your disciple, you will guide us uh, until we reach the fifth level. But Master, when we're in heaven, how can we make sure not to foolishly spend all our merits and fall down to our lower heaven or even back down to this physical plane? Yeah, the Master Power will help you if you want it. And continue meditation and learning up there as well. The Master will not leave you. And now that uh, I told you the string effect is even better. <laughs> as if you are seeing me now. Wow. You'll be continue to be in contact. That's very yeah, reassuring. Yeah, wow, well, I'm happy. <laughs> very reassuring. I'm happy too. Reincarnation is very tiresome for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that kind of thing. <laughs> yes. Um, Master, we've seen people who've been uh, uplifted by grace to the fifth level uh, in this physical world, but later they fall back down to a lower level. So mm -hmm. if one departs this physical world and goes to the fifth level, uh, by grace, uh, is there also a chance that that soul might fall, fall down to a lower level, or is he or she able to stay in that fifth level no matter what? Yes, if you already departed from this world, there will be more stable status, you see, because you will be no more influenced by the negative powers at the fifth level. There's no negative power there, for example, yes? I understand. Uh, even on the third level, for example. So you keep that uh, spiritual level that you have and continue to be more refined even to the higher or the highest degree of the fifth realm. Only in this world or in astral world, for example, then we are at to be influenced by the negative tendency. But in higher realm, we are not. Okay? Yes, Master. Right. <sighs> uh, Master, if there is uh, no one who is in need of help in heaven, uh, how do we earn merits in heaven and advance our level of consciousness? Yes, you still advance by knowledge from Master. T 
teaching you there, impart it in that realm to you and beyond as you progress further. The Master will not leave you. It's very comforting, Master, very comforting. Yes, no problem, man. <laughs> <laughs> promise made is a promise made. <laughs> um, Master, are there any other secrets of the universe that Master would like to share? Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, we'd love to hear them, we'd love to hear them. <laughs> <sighs> but it's not so useful to you here, so I don't know why you need to know in this physical world. It's not useful too much for you. What I know is too much to tell you. <laughs> I see. But I don't know, you cannot make use of it. But, but perhaps uh, some examples? Um, I mean, maybe we wouldn't understand uh, even a centimeter of your explanation, but we would still like to hear because it's fascinating to us. Okay, okay, I'll tell you one example, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, Master. It's very, very kind, okay. deeply kind of you, deeply kind. I only told you up to now what you can make use of, but many things I cannot tell you. For example, there is a thing called Divine Connection Line. There is more of oh, thousand, millions, billion, trillion, zillions times more powerful than heaven gates, heaven ways, and spiritual blessing lines, and uh, spiritual blessing portals. Do you understand wow. this? Wow. Yes. Wow. But the divine connection line has a different level. For example, divine co connection line from the four, third level, the fourth level, the fifth level. So it depends on uh, which connection line to which spiritual level, the power, it depends on that. So if you find this spiritual connection line and sit within it, in the middle of it, but the, the line is very, very narrow. For example, just about like this, okay? Understand? Wow, very small, very small. About the two, two or three palms together, squarely. Uh, not square, but like, more or less like roundly like that. And that is a line called spiritual connection line. Our world is connected with all heaven's world through this spiritual connection line. Even if heaven gaze not there, spiritual line broken, this connection line is not broken until the whole planet is broken. Understand? Yes. Understood. And if you happen to find this spiritual connection line and sit in it, then you will earn thousandfold, zillionfold more spiritual merit point very fast. Wow. You assimilate the power of it. But you will not be able to find it if your level is only within fine realms. And I can't pinpoint it to you even if I want to. Uh, because I will have to be there physically in order to locate it for you, for example, yeah? As yes, the line is very narrow and it has to be exact. Because if you sit like one millimeter far away from it, one millimeter only, then there's no benefit at all. And then, <laughs> on top of that, if you're not allowed to know because of your level, then you will never feel it, nor find it, nor benefit from it, even if you sit right on top of it. So, heavens <laughs> are full of wondrous mystery. Even I had to go through one level connection after another, not knowing what next. Sometimes I go chasing it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I have to go chasing, <laughs> hunting, <laughs> hunting spiritual connection line. And now it's more stable now. I can just do it without having physically going. Wow. Wow. Uh, the soul and the body also must be able to withstand this extreme power of the higher world in the physical dimension and have to be able to absorb the power of this dimension, of higher and higher dimension. Otherwise, you'll be absorbed or burnt out to Christ. Yes. So, as you are gradually gotten used to the higher energy, you will be revealed the next divine connection line and its power, and not before that. Even for me, it's like that. For example, now I'm sitting within the divine connection line that connect me to the one billion spiritual world, for example. Yes. 
then that's the only way I know it. That's the only place I should know, and I'm revealed. If I ask for the next one, there's no, no answer, no possible. Understand? Only when I already am, like, for, for example, graduated already from this spiritual connection, absorbing enough energy and prepare myself, soul, body, and mind enough to absorb the next one, then I will be revealed the next one. Understood, Master. Even if it's just one hair apart from one connection line to the next, I will not be able to, 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 to get it. So uh, that's the way it is. So many other things similar like that. Even if I tell you, you won't be able to use it. So what for you know, making <laughs> your mind so much uh, uh, burden and so crowded? Oh, but we find it very fascinating, Master. It's, it's just beautiful, inspiring to hear about yeah, what do you think, how I can negotiate with heavens or with the karmic law if I don't have enough power? All the many masters come and go from the fifth level. is cannot do much. Understood, Master. Can only help a group of people, of their own disciples. But to leave the whole world and to save the whole planet is, is another matter. All in the universe are connected by these divine connection lines, from the low earthly realm to the highest heavens. It's a wonder network. It's an incredible, intricate pattern of network. It is so wonderful to, to know about it. I'm very happy. Oh, wow, Master, we're, we're, we're touched. Thank you for telling us about these spiritual connection lines. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, you see, many of the secrets of the universe are well guarded. And sometimes, uh, even if you know it, you're not allowed to broadcast it to the world. Yes? So just uh, this one, hey? Okay? Okay. Um, yes, Master. The, I call it DCL, I mean <laughs> Divine Connection Line. The, the, the Divine Connection Line, even, even if I reveal to you, even if I point it out to you where it is, you can't use it. You understand me? Understood, it's so Master. extremely protected, extremely well guarded, that even a saint of the fifth level will not be able to detect it or to make use of it. Uh, so it is very, very, very something that <laughs> something that is not very useful to you. Mm. So, Master, uh, if we may respectfully ask, uh, right now there's just one or there are multiple of the uh, uh, divine connection line on Earth? Yes, a lot. Oh, a lot, a lot. I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. That's always has been and always will be. Just the question is, if you're not aware of it and if you're not allowed to use it, then it's just there to, to connect, you know, like a network, but it's not for you to be able to use it. That's the thing. Understood, Master. Understood. Mm. Master, uh, we, may we respectfully ask, are there any other secrets of the universe you would like to share with us today? At the moment, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you very much. Deeply, deeply thank you very much for, for discussing the uh, Divine Connection Line, Master. You're welcome. I was also very happy to have found it. I was so happy, so elated. <laughs> and not immediately after I left Supreme Master TV, oh, I had to oh, diligently. So much work, so much concentration, so much focus on it, on meditation, in order to finally get it. It's not like I've got it immediately, no, no. Just recently, yes. Not recently, but since, uh, oh, since when? Oh, probably uh, three months ago, more or less. Wow. But after a lot of suffering as well, huh? Yes. But in the beginning, when I first have to assimilate this kind of divine power connection, Oh, it was very uncomfortable also for my body. And now I get used to it. Doesn't matter how high, it's okay. 
It's like nothing. In the beginning, it was so difficult, was so tiring, so painful also, eh? Mm. And it caused a lot of disturbance in the body and the physical body and all kind of things happen, disturbing and all kind of uh, uh, bad thing happen also because the, the 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 negative power feel uncomfortable also and it try to get me. Our deepest gratitude, Master, for that. It's all right. I'm glad. Whatever the price is always more than worth it. Believe me. <laughs> If you were me, you'd be happy. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. I just, it was very really fun also. <laughs> It's not so much uh, fun, but it was very, very incredible. You know, sometimes the whole night through, I can't sleep, I don't sleep. I have to chase the one line after another. <laughs> The whole night through. <laughs> yes, master. Yes, master. <laughs> Once I know the next one more powerful, I run. <laughs> no matter how long, how far, I run to it. And then run back again and run to another place and run forth, back and forth. All night, all day long, sometime like that. Uh, if you leave a Rama, you think, oh, she's gone crazy, this master. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> I was running like back and forth, back and forth, and up and down, and every different places I, I can go. But now it's more stable. Now I, I understand now. Now I got it. <laughs> I don't have to run physically. Maybe in the future uh, it changed, but right now it's, it's not too bad. I could do it uh, astrally, okay? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Still it's better to do it physically though, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, please, uh, any more questions? Yes. Hi, Master. Thank you for sharing with us. Um, actually, I just have a question about the, the Real Love musical. Ah. Master, you once told us that if Master was married, um, mm. you would be able to help many more humans. Because more connection. That's more all. connection. Yes. Yes, yes, actually, for me personally, before I also knew about Master's love story, about how you went to the West, uh, married to a German doctor, and then left to seek enlightenment, But I never really felt that connected. Um, but actually, after watching the Real Love musical, which was about Master's love and life story, I felt touched to see how Master was so much in love with your husband and with all the scenes and acting and the songs and the lyrics based on Master's poetry. I could really connect and see that it was truly a real life fairy tale. And I was um, just amazed to see how Master could have the determination and strength to leave for a noble cause, even though you and your husband were so much, so, so much in love. So I was just wondering, Master, could sharing your love story through the Real Love musical be an, like, an alternative to Master personally getting married to help humanity? It was a long time ago at that yes. time. Right now, mm -hmm. I don't have to. Yes, it was not that easy, you know. I cry a lot. I cry a lot when I left him. And the last time also we saw it before I left, I cry a lot, a lot, a lot. I cry not just f not because of me. I feel so sorry for him. I feel so, so very, very sorry for him so much. I cry a lot, a lot. It's not that easy, huh? I, I wonder how I have done it. Uh, I guess uh, heaven also blessed me to have done it, or maybe my destiny. I have to. Yes. Now I don't have to do it. And uh, and yes, to your question, that musical also would help to help in some way because it would soften people's heart, just like yours. You see, they they feel it's the real thing, and so they will be more open to spiritual blessings and or spiritual connection. It helps. Anything helps. <laughs> yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Welcome, love. <laughs> 